Okay. <clears throat> Let's see here. I think we'll start collecting all of the quests first. Jesus Christ. Rebellion. Be it upon your heads when our expectations. Jesus Christ, there's so many people here. So many people here, Jesus man. You know what? Screw it. Rebellion. We're gonna take, we're gonna take the now, okay? Let me out Someone messing about. Let me out Yes. Someone's going to regret. Rebellion. Okay, this is too... Take it. Look, 
for me, dude. What's that? Go through that. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Interesting. Okay, cool. Huh. The location marked on the map isn't far from here. Revelio! What does the map look like again? this area here hmm <laughs> yeah I think that's the place <laughs> okay
can't imagine how inconvenient Revelio. the was before I invented flu powder. Along the coast. Heard they do that when the weather's... Seems a pleasant enough little place. Pardon? Were you calling to me? I was. I'm Marianne Moffat. Pleasure. At the moment, I'm having a great deal of trouble trying to find a particular Derricol. Ah, uh, yes. The magical bird can disappear when it senses danger. Peculiar things, aren't they? Did you know that muggles call them dodos? <laughs> Such a funny name. I'm worried about a large albino derricol known as Gwenaira. She's a local legend, so of course poachers are after her. If I had her, I'd treat her like a queen. And I could use her molted feathers as fashion accessories. Seems you're more concerned with the feathers than the bird. But... She'd be safer with you than with poachers. Indeed. They'd pluck her feathers and likely kill her when they were through. I can't seem to rescue her, and I'm worried the Derricals don't trust me since I've been hanging about their den. Why are you fixated on Gwenaira and not rescuing all the Derricals? Gwenaira is special. She's more attractive to poachers with her lovely plumage. They'll try harder to take her. The other Derricals seem to have managed evading poachers quite well on their own. Can you tell me what the Derrical den looks like? It's down by the shore, on a sort of overhanging cliff. You'll recognize it by all of the Derricals lolling about. Cute. I'll keep an eye out for a large white Derrical. Oh, thank you. Those gorgeous feathers. And she'd be safe. One last thing. She seems to spend her days in hiding. I've only ever seen her at night. I do hope you're able to save her. Uh, excuse me. Be prepared to chase her. I sometimes... On another adventure, are we? I suppose I should watch for Gwenaira. At night, apparently. Ah, oh, nothing like that. This is the Diracle then. But Miss Moffat said Gwenaira only appears at night. This must be the Diracle den that Miss Moffat told me about. Now where is Gwenaira? What are you up to now? Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Oh, hello! Anyway... Miss Moffat, I caught Gwenaira. That's incredible! Was it terribly difficult? Ah, not too bad, if you know what you're doing. Don't be so humble about it. Well, may I have her now? Yes, 
But I'll be expecting payment first. I suppose that's fair. I'm well aware of how difficult she must have been to catch. She has such exquisite plumage. Oh, I shall make the finest attire from her feathers. And she'll have a good life too, of course. Ah. <sighs> Thank you so much for bringing me Gwen Nyra. I shall keep her safe and only use her feathers sparingly. Handy resource indeed. I'm most pleased to be included. Oh, that naughty boy. Hello, madam. Is everything all right? I'm simply beside myself since Rococo ran away. He's my pet Niffler. I'm sorry to hear that your pet is missing. Thank you. I appreciate your words. I mean, I've had him for years. Yo, what's up, guys? He's a lovely company. Yeah, I'm still a bit sick. constitutional the other day, south of here, he and I stumbled upon Henrietta's hideaway. They say that Henrietta was a paranoid recluse, filled her castle with all manner of traps to keep thieves from pinching her valuables. As we drew near, the morning sun reflected off something in a window, and before I knew it, Rococo was off. Oh, I've been worried sick, but I'm not about to meddle with Merlin knows what's inside that house, or the Ashwinders that are lurking about. You're not playing Pokemon. Go. Wait, why Why am I supposed to be playing Pokemon Go right now? Oh, I got a flu. Why did Henrietta feel the need to protect her house like she did? Henrietta was a baroness who married well, more than a few times. Her immense wealth drove her to a life of suspicion and isolation. The more wealth she amassed, the more paranoid she became of losing it. Hence the terrifying traps throughout the hideaway. Not even her family has been willing to deal with them to get to her fortune. Why don't you just get Rococo back yourself? Henrietta's hideaway is treacherous enough, but add Ashwinders into the picture and, well, I love Rococo, but I love staying alive more. I'll keep an eye out for Rococo. Oh, that's terribly kind. But stay away from the hideaway. Far too dangerous. If someone does find him in the hideaway, they shall be well rewarded. Henrietta's treasures are theirs for the taking. She certainly won't mind now. I should be going now. Thank you. I love staying alive more. Okay, I guess we're doing this quest then. Jesus, man. Why are we doing... Why are we coming here? That <sighs> hideaway does sound intriguing. Perhaps I should investigate. For Rococo's sake. Revelio. Yeah, I said I have a flu. Have you tried not getting a flu? I have to try harder, man. <laughs> this must be the castle where Miss Coffee's Niffler ran away. Oh, shit. Now to find a way inside. Okay, I cannot go inside yet, obviously, because I realized I ran out of steamies. So, yeah, I gotta stock up. <laughs> Did you catch any ho -oh today? No. Mainly because I have plenty of shiny ho -ohs already, so... I'm good. I am good. Usually when it comes to like re, re appearing raids, right? I try not to do them too much, cause you know I'm not that 
hardcore of a player anyway. Did you get COVID? Uh, I didn't check, honestly. <laughs> honestly speaking, I didn't check. And I probably should, you know. Yeah, I'll check tomorrow, don't worry about it. I'll be fine. Are you staying near Orchard? No. I don't stay near Orchard, bro. I stay very north side. Very north side. So, yeah. I don't actually live near like a lot of the, what do you call, uh, very popular places, right? So, yeah. <coughs> hey, me at the border. Are you at Woodlands? I'm not sure man, you tell me. <laughs> it's north side, so I mean if you watch my uh, my Pokemon Go content, you can pretty much know where I stay, which is very alarming. You know? <laughs> because based on like the the, uh, the gyms and the stops and stuff, you can pretty much know where a person lives. It's scary enough. I shall go JB and see you. Alright, cool. I think we're fine already. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> oh, uh, 88, if you didn't know, since the last episode, right, I have unlocked this section and then during my free time or my downtime, I was exploring just to do like side quests and stuff and I yeah, I didn't do any of the main quests or any of the side quests. I only did like the Merlin Trials and stuff, which by the way, I've completed all 95 Merlin Trials. <laughs> Don't have to do that shit again. And yeah, that's why now I'm able to traverse uh, much faster around here. <laughs> if we ever get 40km trade, can we lucky trade if I'm in JB? Yeah, definitely. 40km is definitely... Uh, definitely within the time uh, region. No, nope. definitely within distance. What? What did I say? Region for? Rebellion. Are you saying the northeast side? Uh, <laughs> just let's just put it this way. I just live in the north side, yeah. Got my eye on a few nearby They're more dangerous than they know. This place is here. Oh, you hear that? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Let me That uh, goblin elm, you pilfered. I want that. Exposo. <laughs> I'd better find a way around them. Or perhaps. Bro, why are you trying to figure out exactly where I live, man? Like, 
I mean, I, I, I get it that you want to have an idea where I stay, but this is a bit alarming, man. <laughs> There's a chance I'm living in North Korea right now. Now you mention it. Knowing the meat, he's likely studied here. Uh, so we can trade remotely. Wait, how can we trade remotely? How, how can we trade remotely though? Rebellion. Remote rate? No, ra there's no such thing as a remote trade, right? Certainly looks to be the place. If you want to raid his place, I call dibs on the PS5, bro. I hope the Ashwinders haven't done anything with Rococo. Where in Merlin's name am I? Okay, I have no idea where am I too. Okay. This place is very scary. Okay, let's see here. We have frozen and fire. Alright. Rebellion. Okay. Accio. Oh, that's a chest. All right, cool. I love playing Pokemon Go. I'm, I'm happy that you love it, man. Honestly, I would love it more if it wasn't so uh, uh, repetitive, though. <laughs> that's the only downside I realize. It's quite repetitive, that's why. Rebellion. But yeah. Whenever there's there a big go. event, I would play Pokemon Go. No worry about it, man. But on smaller events and stuff, I try to I play other games instead. Ashwinders. Should have expected company. Is that the history of my treasure map? You should go about the grip. You're the one who released Trent Branch. That was a mistake, friend. Are you shy? Send it out in a port. Flash of inspiration. Bombarder. Explosor. Quite convincing. This lady has to chill, man. Christ, man. Oh, 
Something on the other side? Rebellion. Accio. Indarium Leviosa. Rebellion. Did something happen? <laughs> I think I'll go on the left side first. Wow, what's with all the promotion stuff going on? Revelio. Hmm. Weird. Okay. Akio. The goddamn Leviosa. Rebellion. Right, cool. Ah, I forgot to check if I have enough inventory slots. Oh well. Mm, can I go this way? No. That's probably upstairs. <laughs> it's downstairs too. Jesus Christ. Okay, maybe we'll go there a bit later. Let's figure out what the hell is this first. More treasure. Rococo must have been through here. Rebellion. I should follow the treasure to find that Niffler. Oh, so probably that is the right way. The we can head back this way then. Crap, more infurry. Damn. Someone had a lot of fun in this bedroom, man. Rebellion. Thanks, 88. Define fun. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's try to bring it. Akio. Indarium Leviosa. Incendio. Confringo. Glacier. Bombarder. Expelliarmus. Is it just one? Rebellion. It's just one. That's so weird. Why is it just one? Okay. Was in Unai three was scary. Wait, they buffed Trevenant? Or something? How's that Zation? Zation? I always pronounce it Zation. I forgot if that's the right pronunciation. Trevenant Woodhammer. Oh. Whoa! 
Whoa, that was freaky, man. Do you see that? Look at that. Hey, that's coin inside. Yeah, free coin. Revelio. Oh shit. Okay, I probably messed up there. Okay, I think I probably messed up there. I should have brought the... Oh crap. Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. I can't fly, I can't fly. Come on, eat the thing. He didn't eat the thing. Damn it! Revelio. Accio. Revelio. This is bad. The floor has a taste for you. This is bad. I was supposed to move. Okay, let's see if this works. We have to try. Once you eat it, then I can go. Yeah, man. Take that. Stupid floor. These coins must have come from Miss Coffee's Nephla. All right, there's some baddies down there, so let me go over here. Revelio. Shit, 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 shit. Many of them, Jesus Christ, bro. I've had enough of this. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, they teleport and shit. 
Oh crap! Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Wow, what? The hard part is just a shield. Like dealing with their shield, right? Is the is the troublesome part. And then there's like so many combos and shit, right? Uh, you gotta juggle between your your cooldowns and stuff, you know. Anything on this side? I feel like there's something on this side. Revelio. Oh no no no! This is the one where the floor eats you, man. <laughs> okay, where do I go? I need to go up there. I need to go up there. That's just one though. This is the floating one. Floating one is... Which one is the floating one? This is the fire one. Oh, here it is. Leviosa. Leviosa. Revelio. Uh, did it open anything? What was that? Where's the one more? I think it's around here somewhere. Revelio. Can we check here? Yeah. Maybe it's inside here. Yeah, we've been here. There's nothing here. Is this a uh, depulse? Uh... Descender! Revelio! Akio! Okay. Something open, but what? What 
What open, man? Will it work if it's not a block? Incendio. Holy shit, it worked! <laughs> I was thinking that I had to look for a block. But no, just a normal fire thingy will work. What the heck? Apparently there's something here, but I cannot reach it. I don't know why. I might as well grab the Niffler. I'm here now. Oh my god, look at all the money. This was a diff more difficult challenge than the other ones. Revelio. What the hell? Oh shit, I'm at the front again. Oh my god, I'm at the fun already! Ha! Funny, but no, that's not why. I, I, I want to figure out how to fix this. Whoa! How do you become a rock? That's strange. Okay, I want to figure out how do I get through this. Not you. Incendio. Revelio. Ah, how do I get to that side? Revelio. How do I get to that side, man? <sighs> Alright. Okay, screw it. We'll come back again, I guess. <gasps> One quest at a time. Oh no! Revelio. Oh shit, that's a... never mind. Okay, we'll, we'll be back, we'll come back here first. <clears throat> Miss Coffee, I found your Niffler. Oh, goodness, really? Oh, thank you. You're very brave. I was at my wit's end. How's my sweet Rococo? May I have him back? Surprise, Rococo is like still alive from, from no food, you know? It wasn't easy battling Ashwinders and finding a Niffler in that house. I've earned a reward. Oh, of course. I didn't realize you'd done all that. That was a lot of work. Anything for my precious baby. Oh, my brave little explorer. My greedy, greedy boy. Oh, I can't wait to get him home. Thank you again for what you did. From now on, I'll keep Rococo on a lead whenever we go out. All right, cool. Niffler line hat. Now that's something I want to wear. 
We we have a hat that is a Niffler hat. <laughs> Perfect for my Niffler outfit. Do I have a Niffler outfit? No. But I like my Niffler hat. It's a cute. All right. Uh, let's let's go here again because I'm trying to figure what the hell is that. It says that there's a valuable item at Henrietta's hideaway. I should find out what it is, and what it is we shall find. <clears throat> I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Uh huh. Actually, I have to go back to that area again because apparently there is a treasure map that I have to go there for. Revelio. What went on here, I wonder? All right, so so apparently there is a. Uh, okay, let me see. Let me check my inventory. So there is this map. It says here, enter here, and then there is this fire, fire circle. Hippogriff thing, fire and ice. Does this look like that? This building. I think it is right. Revelio. I still have to go back here because I have Ah oh, shit Rebellion. To take the long way. Rebellion. Right here, this thing. I recognize it now. Okay. Okay. So, let's see here. Let's see the even. Let's see the map again. So it says here it has to be, uh, two fire on its right leg, and then a fire on the right, and a fire on the twelve o'clock. So three, four, or three, five, whatever. Okay, so that means so this sword. Oh, okay. Wow. That was cool, I guess. Accio. 
Revelio. Accio. Incendio. Back in the fog. Revelio. What the hell? How are you, how are you alive? Okay. Now what? I thought it already activated the door. Is it this one? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh crap, another another map? Oh okay, I think I know where this is. I think I know where this is. Damn it. What's this? Some sort of treasure map. Revelio. This is crazy, man. Sending us on a treasure hunt. Alright, at least we're done with this place. Okay, so this next location, I know it's right here. And it's a very big camp, like what the hell man? Why are we going through all these big camps right now? It's not even funny man. Ah, Alright, let's do it. I just hope I don't die from this. I don't like the looks of that encampment. Me too. Revelio. Every traveling vendor that's passed <laughs> Akio! Oh. Oh. killing. Should you? This whole life. 
I'd be impressed by you, you man. You won't knock back my... You've been dropped. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Revelio. Oh, shit. Somebody out there? No more happy days. Places! Confringo! Armada! Expelliarmus! Leviosa! Descender! Places! Minder! Rebellion. Places. Confringo. Rebellion. Crap. I have so many things I need to sell. So many things I need to sell. Shit. This is bad. I need to throw away a lot of stuff. alone. Rebellion. Can bring up. Rebellion. Okay, we gotta play some music right now. Revelio. Okay, let's bring out the music sheet. <clears throat> I don't know how I'm gonna do this though. Alright, so it says that I need to start with the... Okay, so it's... Let's let's go with uh, left and right. So left one, right one kind of thing. So right one. 
right one left three right right one left three then five okay. one two three four oh it's four uh yeah so one oh, i can just remember it like this one two one two three four five six no 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 okay i think that's a better way to memorize this though one Maybe we do it one at a time, you know. One, three, four. Okay, and after that, uh, then after that is the third one. And then the one below it, and then the highest one. After that, it's that one. Okay, so it's the third one. Third one below it, highest one. Third one. Know it. <laughs> That's so cool. I did it. That's the Harry Potter sound. Revelio. That is pretty cool. And look. Treasure. Cool. So we have a new item that is for treasure hunting. Where is it? Where's the treasure hunting one? That, this one. Wow, that looks really cool. Looks like a pirate. All right, let's move on to another quest, shall we? Or maybe we'll do another quest another time. All right, let's let's do a main quest while we're at it. You know. done this quest find the treasure I thought I already finished this I don't get it I thought I already finished this one it's confusing I thought Huh? Wait... I'm a bit confused right now. I 
I thought I... Uh, huh? Henrietta's map portrays castle ruin on a peninsula. A hippogriff surrounded by flames is also etched into it. I, yeah, I thought I already done this. That is so weird. Don't tell me it's a bug or something. Wait. Don't tell me that I didn't solve this yet. Oh my god, I haven't solved it yet. I thought I solved it! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I thought I already solved it. Oh dear lordy. I have to fly back. You thought wrong, I know. As I can Rebellion. see, I'm totally useless when it comes to this kind of stuff. Oh, by the way, there's another Quidditch uh, speedrun quest which we're not going to do today because I am so not in the right mind to do like racing and stuff. Because I would suck at it. Glad I was never locked up here. Alright, let's do this for the third time. <laughs> Jesus. As long as there's no bad guys, I'm okay. You know? As long as there's no bad guys. Oh my god, the chest is right there! This must be what all the fuss was about. <laughs> I ran past it! <laughs> I ran past it when I already got it. Oh dear god. I'm so sorry! I suck at this! Missing chest, nothing new. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate the support, you know. Okay, so this one is uh, explore basement of an old manor near southern coast. I should unlock the chest, see what it holds. Uh, and then this one is Crackcroft has a problem with Ash Winder, so yeah. Okay, no matter. I will do the side quest another time. Let's do some. Talks because daddy needs to talk to us, and then after that, we'll continue our main quest. You know, <laughs> you can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before. I you can't imagine. Oh my god, Revelio. I tell you, when you play this game, that is going to bug you a lot because Ricardo must have been quite stately in his time because she repeats it all the time. Are you playing Unite right now, bro? Are you ready to put an end to Halo? Trying to get Zisha. Ah, nice. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, 
and Mr. and Mrs. Webb. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Take uh, Harlow down with that mask. I plan to, man. <laughs> Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. All Hopefully right. by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. <laughs> Look at this. Look at Hogsmeade during Christmas time. You will only see this during Christmas time. It's so pretty. I freaking love it. Look at the Christmas tree. If only I could burn it, right? <laughs> it's so pretty. Christmas feeling, you know. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <sighs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. Damn. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Her face is like a ghost, too white. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Hmm. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. <laughs> Bro, I heard the same thing too. If there was no subtitles, I swear to God. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Daddy, chill. Uh, find Mr. Bickle's other two friends.
Okay, next one. Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Yeah, the Rebellion. Please tell me you didn't take it, but perhaps it's been here all along. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man, but even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six Ooh. months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. Oh. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Poor the guy. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Run out of money. <laughs> Where was I? Bro. We're on the right track. I have to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Uh, you don't have to say that. Agatha's filbert must be around here somewhere. Rebellion. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. 
One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Okay, cool. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. All right, time to go back to Natty. to be late she said she was going to the hog's head perhaps i'll find her there oh come on you want me to hit back again make up your mind bro it's okay i have flu powder i'll figure out what to do there oh shit i cannot flu powder myself Nettie's in trouble you gotta save her He must be around here somewhere. Revelio. Ooh, her wand. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. This is troubling. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Are you a dark wizard, my man? <laughs> Did you see what just happened? He got scared and he walked through the door. He walked through the wall. <laughs> Clip that, bro. Clip that. That was funny shit, man. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. All right, here we go. <clears throat> the footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. There must be a lot of people here. That's why. It is. Oh, we gotta find a couple of things. Let's go. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Revelio. First things first, gotta loot their place. Because that's what we do best. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Are you sure we're supposed not to be seen? All right, fine. If we're not going to be seen, then we have to hide. Revelio. Just keep an eye out. I wonder if I can if I can do this sneakily. You know?
Let's finish this job and be done with it. Waste of time, this is. So we're trying to be Assassin. We're trying to be Assassin Creed, apparently. I'd remember my father speaking. Seems now they're upon me. They tell quite a different story. I don't trust Ranrock. I'll tell you. Cast my eyes closer. Best to be sure. Lumos expulsion. Glacius defender. It was supposed to be a be a quiet thing, but then ah oh shit, I forgot to sell things again. The book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. You'll be thrilled to have this back. Ah oh, man, I forgot to sell all my stuff again. Ah, this is the letter. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Okay, let's throw away some equipment here. We should speak to her again. Perhaps she'll tell us what we can find out. Akio! Mopada! Leviosa! Descender! Glaciers! Defender! Confringer! Expelliarmus! Glaciers! Confringer! Mopada! Expelliarmus! 
for the arms. Look! What are you, shy? I've seen more courage than a forelock. Ah! That all you got? Places! Don't think that I'm from me, did ya? Expelliarmus! Bombarder! Defender! Let me also! Descender! Places! King Gringo! Expelliarmus! Chess over there. That he must be here somewhere. Revelio. You found us. I knew you would realize I had left my one for you. Speak to Mr. Rib. He will tell you over here. I need your help. Hey, what? Hello, Hamora. Rebellion. told me you've been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. <laughs> the other rape. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. I don't want to stand back. I want to stand very close. Okay, nothing happened. Revelio. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must- Rebellion. Wait, there's more? We are fighting more? No! I thought we already fought them all. Didn't I fight them all already? Anticlimactic. A little bit, yeah. But that's normal. Maybe we're not fighting here, maybe we're fighting outside, you know? Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Oh, wait. I think she thought that there will be a lot of them to fight because I already killed them all. <laughs> yeah, I already killed them all. <laughs> she thought there's still a lot of them outside. <laughs> That's why. I was like, oh, are they going to respawn or something? Usually they don't respawn. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you... The troll dispatcher. Bruh. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Well, look at me. I am the Niffler King. Look at my Niffler outfit, you know. Bow down to me. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. 
Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabel right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Please, I can take down the entire camp. I don't need you guys. The authority haven't been much help. <laughs> that is an answer for the next character. Yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. From a conversation to a quest. You know? How fancy is that? Ooh, I completed my entire collection chest. Yay! I knew there was something missing here. Anyway, let's look at the quest. Alright, so next one is Poppy. She said she wants to go to a Forbidden Forest plan. Alright, let's go. Please, no spiders. Poppy, if it's a spider, I'm going to freaking kill you myself. I hate Forbidden Forest just because of the spiders, you know. Ooh. The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon. Aww. After we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. Aww. So sweet. But they are cute. No, man. When you play this game, you tell me if it's cute, alright? You tell me if it's cute. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Oh yeah, we're going to talk to the... We were supposed to talk to the... Um, we were supposed to talk to the centaurs. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Mm -hmm. Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise. Oh, come on, I Poppy. Suppose. Why? Once we tell them about the snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fun. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is that? Whoa. Whoa. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. Ah, You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care! From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. 
They will leave here unharmed. I like this guy. I don't Mark like this guy. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Damn. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. Follow me Golden I... Scissors are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Interesting. I like my outfit a lot, if you didn't know. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Moonstone, obviously, is to evolve your fairy type Pokemons. Duh, you know. Isn't Moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing Centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific Moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. I don't know. But I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, is that the quest? Is that it? That was anticlimactic. See you later, puppy. Rebellion. Yeah, I don't wanna I just wanna follow the butterflies. Please don't take me somewhere dangerous butterflies. Why are they fighting each other though? Very strange. Rebellion. Oh crap. Accio. Incendio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Shit. Suddenly got a fairy here. I'm, I'm out of here, man. This place is scaring the shit out of me. Okay, so in terms of quest wise. We are pretty much done with most of the stuff. Uh, yes, so the next one is to location the third keeper trial. I guess we can do that, uh, but I'm not sure how long it will take. Since I shouldn't play too long though, I should rest. No, but uh, let's see first. Okay, let's.
Oh, oh, okay. I know where it is. Uh, wait. There we go. Nope, this one. Okay, main quest. Let's go. It's been a while. It was like a long delay. Look at me. I look like Welcome a niffler. Back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. Ooh. I understand. Ooh. Very well. Okay, cool. I'll cool. find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Time to do some sneaky, sneaky stuff. Sneaky stuff. All right. So, we have to go to the top. Actually, there's a quest here. Damn it. Uh, all right, how do I get to the Hitmaster's uh, office? I can't remember. I think it's through here, right? Is it through here? I don't think it's the astronomy tower though. Something tells me it's not. Oh, I know where it is. I know where it is. There. I know where it is. I know where it is. I tried to go there before, but then I forgot. How to get in? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Oh crap! I have to go talk to Professor Fig. Not go in by myself. <laughs> and I thought that I could do things myself, you know. <laughs> you know, until now, I never actually attended Professor Fig's uh, class, so I don't even know what he teaches, you know. I don't think Professor Fig t teaches charm class, charm lessons, you know. You are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Reb and I from the Ashwinders. We have come so far. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop Harlow. This lady wants to get killed. That's what she wants. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? 
Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A <gasps> polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. What? Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time <gasps> is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. <gasps> oh, he, he turned to a Ministry of Magic. Oh my god, let's go, <laughs> Professor Black. I grew taller. Wow. How do you feel? <clears throat> Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Right. Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Okay, I cannot cast any spells. I cannot do anything. I can roll. I can roll. Look at this. Whoa. He have his own sound effects. Nice. Ah, a student. Why are you not in class, boy? Okay, I cannot cast anything. Damn it. Professor, a moment of your time. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I would say what's best. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. Oh, no! <laughs> <clears throat> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> now... To determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. <laughs> it's so weird, I, I cannot use Revelio right now. It's Greetings. so, so weird. I mean, out of my way, children. Out <laughs> of oh, my way, children. <laughs> I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. <laughs> I love this part of the quest. I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Gareth. Uh, uh, Mr. Weasley, what are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor, yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago, muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. <laughs> Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. 
Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. <laughs> Did I just snitch on my own friend? <laughs> oh my god. Well, there's one for my diary. This is so funny. Ah. 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 You call that a shine on those boots? Do better! I wonder what happens if I leave uh, Hogwarts, you know? It would be so cool if I could, but I don't think I can. See? Professor Black? <gasps> Ominous. How are you, sir? Ominous. Mr. Gaunt! Where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, <laughs> wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy. FBI, if up. I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. <laughs> I can imagine my, my my cool, calm main character suddenly act so Something wildly. Very wrong with Professor Black. Dittany and Boobachuba pus. Moustache paste. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. Professor, a word? Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to- What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I- You are quite impossible sometimes. <laughs> Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Please do. <laughs> Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? <laughs> Very well, I will. And with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the, the actor for this... Uh, voice, right? He's having a field day, man. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? Hey, do you just talk back against me, lady? Huh? You're lucky I cannot use my wand. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I... Simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. Okay. Are you going to say anything? Huh? Aren't you going to say something? Nothing worse than students practicing jigsaw and chopping. I take a step for fear of having your legs turn to jelly. While I remember, don't forget to give me that book on ancient runes. Or in case I don't see you, you can I use your other one, bro. <laughs> Master, and he's coming this way. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. <laughs> They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? 
in invisible as that fifth year <laughs> talking about himself. Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Obviously. I think this is the funnest part of the entire game so far. Like, it's all comedic, you know. Love it. If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. Watch your headmaster do this. Yeah. Imagine your headmaster doing this. <laughs> Professor, I need to speak to you. Ooh. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might um speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh. Very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumours of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, <laughs> Professor Weasley. Weasley. Good day. <laughs> What's she gonna say? Come on, you might have a comeback to it. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. Of course. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Alright. Why am I walking so slow? Alright, people. Your professor is here. Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his house uh, elf. No doubt in Scrope's mind. Ahem. Attention, students. I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the dignified banners of Hufflepuff. <laughs> I shall be taking no questions at this time. Or ever. <laughs> oh my god! Hufflepuff wins! <laughs> oh, this is brilliant, man. Scroop! Oh, oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scroop swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Oh, no. Oh, no. What it is? Okay, Black's family motto, all right? So, Black has to do with family blood. Purity of blood. Uh, it to do with family reign or it to do with strength. I don't think it's strength. I don't know if it's blood or family rain. It feels like it's family rain, but it also feels like it's blood. Oh, what is it? Uh, black family model. Blood make more sense, right? 
Ah, let's go with blood. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh. Well, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. <laughs> I love this quest so much. All these wearing off. I best get out of sight. Uh, I love this quest so much. <laughs> Toujours pur. Why is it in French, bro? Why is it in French? Oh god. Hide as the polyjuice potion. Uh oh oh I'm we're hiding ah, here. It just in time. It's okay. wearing off. Alright, time to hide. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Oh man, that is what a quest, man! I freaking love Rebellion. it. I freaking love it. Well done. That was a good quest. That was a good quest. Okay, I'm gonna go to the gargoyle first because I want to see what happens. Then maybe we'll we'll stop there. You know. Then we can continue another day, but in the meantime, I have to know exactly what happens here. No, that's not it. Is that the trophy area? Where's the trophy one? There we go. On another adventure, are we? <coughs> Revelio. Was that a ting? Oh, that's a ting. All right, now my. I remember that this part here is something that I cannot access at all because I tried, and I think. This is good for me to help you figure out exactly what to do when you, it's your turn. So, there is this one portion here which requires a key. Now, I don't know how to get this key yet. Alright, so you see this part here. I cannot figure out how to solve this yet. I'm trying to figure out, like... Now, what do I do with this? No. No oh well. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's speak French. The gargoyle. Bro. That's where I need to speak the password. All right, here we go. Toujours pur. Toujours pur. God damn, it worked. God damn it worked. Jesus, man. Toujours pure. So sexy. <laughs> I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Oh. Sleeping portrait. Hey, here we are! Wow, this looks exactly like Dumbledore's uh, office. Exactly the same. Oh, wow, look at all the portraits on the top. Cool. Revelio. Let me uh, unlock everything here. Alohomora. Because I gotta access everything. Oh, shit! I cannot yet. You know why? I have to sell stuff. 
Ah, I gotta sell stuff, bro. Can I sell stuff and then come back? Bro, stealing from the principal, I think so. Can I sell stuff first? Oh no, I cannot sell! Ah! It's okay. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. All right. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Oh, I'm going to drink the headmaster's tea. Don't mind if I do. Rebellio. Oh, there's a chest up there. That must be the pedestal. Crap. Why can I pick up this? I cannot pick up the note. I want to pick up the note. Oh. Receipt. Hair tonic. Mustache wax. <laughs> Why can I pick this up? That's so weird. Alright. Now my... Ooh. Cool. I mean, yeah, kind of expected that to happen. <laughs> Where am I? Jesus. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. Bro, what is this? You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. This is too trippy for me, man. Okay, I will do this another day. Or should I finish this? Probably should finish this. In this place as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Wow. What the hell? Whoa. I cannot use any spells by the way. So They're gone. For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? I need to time this just right. Straight ahead. Creepy. Damn, this is super creepy. 
Jesus. Jump scare. But kind of cool though, they made it into this kind of uh, graphic instead. It's like very interesting. Did someone talk? Oh, lady, how can how can you talk? Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Collection update. Cool. Death Eater flying. Yeah, that is true. Can I? Oh, oh, I can move around from here. Okay, cool. This is my chance. Come and leave. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Jesus, man. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Move, man, move. Why are we doing this kind of sneaky sneaky stuff? I can't run. Like I can try to run, but sometimes it doesn't let me. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be a way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That doorway looks like the only closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Ooh. Revelio! Oh, I can use a Revelio! Oh, interesting, I can use Revelio. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, that scared me. How am I gonna go across this? No 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 be quick be quick go 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 run run bro run Jesus man now's my chance That's the way forward Oh looks like we have invisibility cloak I think I'm invisible Hooray! It's the Deathly Hallow Cloak! Hello! You cannot see me! Because I they am... They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. That's cool. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, <gasps> but this time you will be unable to hide. Oh my god! The wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. It's the Elder One! It's the Elder One, bro! I have to fight them now. It is, it is, it's the Elder Wand, you can see it. You can see the pattern on the wand. I've never felt such power. I don't have... Oh, I only have this combination only. Descender! Depulsor!
Revelio. Depulsion. So much for power. Oh, never mind. Well, Mada does the job. Fighting death, I know. Here comes another battle, then. Defender, bombarder, defender, bombarder, defender, 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 bombarder, defender, defender. Is there chess around here? Oh, I can get Wigan Well Potion. Yo, what's up, Bloom? Damn, how far in this game? Uh, it's not that far, but if you want to. I, I don't want to give a spoiler. Like, I don't want to tell you exactly where I'm at so that you can know when to get to this point. But actually, it's not that far. Like, really, I've been doing a lot of side quests. Yeah, it's not that far. You'll come to this point if you just do main quest really Rebellion. quickly. Jesus Christ, man. 
bravado. Uh, what the hell? There's more? I couldn't use Protego because if I use Protego, I will get hit by the troll that was charging towards me. So it's always better to dodge when you are dealing with trolls. Because if you use Protego and he's able to run through you, you're just gonna die, you know. Which one to upgrade? Okay, you must think about, do you want to go through the normal route? Or do you want to go through the... Um, I can't show you the talent right now, unfortunately. You want to go through the normal route or do you want to go through like the Dark Wizard? route you know because you can only use I think 35 points in total I think it's 35 or is it 30 something I don't know but you cannot use all of it that's for sure <gasps> there it is this stone is the resurrection stone guys we have the Deathly Hallows. You can choose the, the dark route anytime, man. Even from the start, you can already do the dark route. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. She's gone. Neve's dead. Aww. Oh, poor Neve. Gone so young. <laughs> Neve, why? We won't be the same without her. This is a very cool story. Yeah. Dealing with the Deathly Hallows is so cool. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. I try to use it on my friends in the game, but they are immune. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Crucio is... Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's actually very powerful. If you look at the, the Dark Arts tree, right? Crucio has an ability where people who are somehow affected by the Crucio is cursed as well. Then when you kill one, you kill all of them. Something like that. It's it's a very powerful ability. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should.
Remember that as you witness my memory. Oh, are we done with the trial? Yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a uh, spoiler again. Okay, Bloom. The last time we you saw my stream, it was the second trial. Okay, this is the third trial. Okay, I'm sorry for the spoilers, man. I did expect you to come on the stream today. <laughs> Look away if you don't want to see the spoiler. Okay, or you can mute it or something. Let's see what happened. Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable. Wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin <gasps> about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Only have imagined the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. God damn, Isadora. Whoa. What a scene, man. You like my avatar? <laughs> <laughs> my outfit <laughs> I'm dressed as a Niffler with Niffler hats hey where are we what the Radio. hell what the hell where in the world are we how do we get here I thought we were in the oh okay interesting I like how he's waiting, he's just like kicking his feet and stuff. Did you see that? He was just... <laughs> this is what people do when they're waiting, right? Just kick their feet. Yeah. Alright, the fourth guy. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. Damn. I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. Okay, I guess. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. 
I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. <laughs> Dude got drunk. Dude got drunk, man. Hey, we got another trophy. That's cool. Rebellion. All right. Let's teleport somewhere so that we can see if we can get any more new quest. But we're pretty much done for today already. I want to go rest. <clears throat> Still not well yet. I Wait. shouldn't have reacted so <gasps> bitterly your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. Ooh. Huh? Professor Weasley? There was a letter from her. There was a letter from Professor Weasley, but then she didn't say anything. Professor? Professor Weasley. Yeah. Dick, tell me he shared with you his experience with Phoenix. Please check in on him when you get the chance. He has an idea where you thought it was worth exploring. Ooh, we have a Phoenix to catch. Please do a uh, Sebastian date another time, okay? So in the shadow of the mountain, this one is interesting. Phoenix rising, okay. Alright, cool. Alright. Yeah, so. Let's see here. I have finished 100% of my few guides already, as you can see. I My combat... Uh, what's the next one? Wow, 42 dueling feats, man. You can get a demigod's mask. I want that. I want that so bad. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Okay. Anyway, yes. I will see you tomorrow, probably. <laughs> bye bye. <clears throat>